of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. PlayStation has gone and done it, and they've released a new Demon Souls remake trailer that's about four and a half minutes long that you just watched, which is frankly outstanding. The level of detail in this game is going to blow people's minds, I think. I sat there and my jaw just dropped watching it. In this video, I want to talk a bit about that, about the game, about when it releases, and kind of get into what we can expect with this game. So first up, let's talk about the release date. It is, in fact, a PlayStation 5 launch title coming out on November 12th which is the same day that PlayStation 5 comes out. Now for the bad news. If you don't live in one of the listed regions uh, that PlayStation 5 is coming out in on the 12th, which is only a handful, you're going to get the PlayStation 5 on November 19th. So because you cannot get a PlayStation unless you somehow get it from one of those other regions before, you're going to be playing this game on November 19th. Let's talk about the graphics for a second. They are frankly mind-blowingly good. 
I don't think anyone expected the graphics to be this good for a launch title on PlayStation 5. And in fact, compared to some of the other gameplay for some of the other PS5 titles that we've seen, it looks even better than them. So it's, I, I cannot wait to see exactly what all these new locations look like in this new rendered form. If you do a comparison of the old gameplay versus the new gameplay from the original version, it's so much better. It's, I don't even know how you would describe it. Another thing you notice is the improved animations and character models. They are really, really good looking at the, the character himself, looking at the boss animations and the, and the boss moves. They are just, frankly, some of the best we've ever seen. Just looking over the enemies, there's clearly enemy redesign being done. So you're going to see probably some new moves or different combat animations from enemies you previously fought if you've played Demon's Souls before, which I think is going to be a nice little surprise for people who uh, are playing the game again for a second time or it's been a long time since they played. It should feel very, very new to them. Another observation we made is that the roll looks a lot faster than we remember. Demon's Souls has typically had a very slow roll compared to other Soul games. And it just looks a bit faster than it's always been. So it's possible they tried to compromise between, you know, what they've been going for, which has been like a faster and faster gameplay and the original in order to make people not feel like it was as clunky. The backstab and parry mechanics also seem extremely fluid for the gameplay. It's much better than we've seen in any other Souls game. They look like the characters actually connecting and interacting with the other character completely harmoniously as compared to sort of, you know, not exactly well done just from a visual perspective. As far as gameplay mechanics for the game, I think it's not that far-fetched to believe that they're probably going to have changed some of the core gameplay mechanics. And when I say changed, I don't mean like drastically changed. I mean like overhauled and improved to kind of be more in line with modern Souls games. This is a very old game compared to some of the other Souls games you've played recently. It was heavier, it was slower. I think they may try and change some things to bring it up to, you know, where Dark Souls 3 was in terms of the speed of combat. And, you know, how other things work, we'll just have to see how that goes. But I don't think it's going to be drastic if they do. But I do think that it wouldn't be that, you know, unbelievable for them to tweak a couple things to make it seem like more of a modern Souls game. Probably the most interesting thing to me, though, is the fact that the pre-order bonus for the game is a Reaper Scythe. This is a new weapon that was not in the original game, which means they've created new weapons. I don't know if this is the only one or if there's going to be more in the game or you're going to see reimagined versions or they're going to have different movesets. So I think we're going to you're going to see a lot more change with this remake than you would originally expect. Another interesting tidbit about this is that uh, if you go to pre-order Demon Souls remake, it says 2 to 6 network players. This is the same amount for Dark Souls 3 if I'm not mistaken. So this means theoretically you'd be able to help summon three cooperative players and have two invaders at the same time, which is not what Demon Souls had originally at release. One thing I want to mention too as well, which may disappoint some people, is that at the end of the trailer it says it's a timed exclusive for PlayStation 5. Uh, this is actually an error on the part of Sony. The game is only coming out for PlayStation 5. It is not coming out on any other platform, or at least they have not announced that it's coming out on another platform, and they have claimed this is an error. So if it is indeed coming out on another platform, they have not announced that to be the case at this time. Stay tuned for more Demon's Souls Remake content on this channel as we get ready for the release on November 12th, and be sure to stop by the Demon's Souls Remake wiki if you want more information about the game.